Today's Get Strong guys, we're looking at prepping you for a slow return, getting back into the gym, which means working on some upper pulling strength to prep for all the pull-ups to come your way. Three sets of A1 followed by A2. After, we'll have a 60 to 90 seconds rest and repeat. A1 is eight to 10 reps of ring rows at three, zero, X1 tempo. That means three seconds lower, zero seconds at the bottom, explode up, one second at the top, or we're doing three to five strict pull-ups. A2 is also at three, zero, X1 tempo. If we haven't got a dumbbell or a hip hinge, we have no band. So after A1, A2, we have 60 to 90 seconds rest, repeat two more times. The next part, which is two sets of B1, B2, and B3, that's eight to 10 reps on our weak leg, followed by eight to 10 reps on our strong leg. Um, be sure to record your weights and movements in sugar wad. Any questions, reach out to the coaches um, and they'll get back to you with any scales or modifications to work with the equipment um, we've got. Enjoy. Today's wad, guys, is hop, swing, and jerk. It's five rounds for total reps of two minutes of work, one minute of rest. We start with 30 seconds lateral skater hops, followed by 20 kettlebell swings. If we have no equipment, it's 30 seconds FL hops, followed by AMRAP hang, clean, and jerks. If we have no kettlebell or dumbbell, it's a handstand push up variation. And the way the workout is scored, each round you record total reps of hang clean and jerk or handstand push up variation, and you'll have one nice big total at the end. Um, yeah, if we can't hang clean and jerk, pick a handstand push up variation you could do eight plus reps with. If handstand push up variation is too much, scale down to push ups today. It's short, it's sweet, it's 10 minutes of work. Work hard in the two minutes, rest in the one minute. Yeah, it looks like a fun one. Uh, enjoy.